Oh, hell no. I did it like my son, man. Man, there's no worse for him, man. Man, that's crazy, dude. It's emotional, you know what? Yeah. I look younger. I look crazy. I look way younger. That's a big difference, man. Hi, my name is Stephen. For the last couple of years, I've been working on a project about the effects that tattoos have on ex-gang members. How we as a society judge them and also how they judge themselves. The concept behind this book was really simple and it was to take portraits of heavily tattooed people who were trying to escape the gangs or have left the gangs. Um, a lot of them going through tattoo removal. We moved their tattoos on Photoshop and then return to them and show them what they look like without tattoos. Allow people to see beyond the tattoos, to hear the stories. I hope create empathy and understanding for the situation they're going through. And like, I know I got tattooed or whatever, but it'll be awkward because I'll sit down in the bus and nobody will want to sit next to me. They'll rather stand up than to sit next to me. Or I'll see like old ladies and they'll start grabbing their purse. I hate that. I don't want you to roll up your windows when you see me running down the street, you know what I mean? It's like, come on, man, I don't I don't need what you got. You don't need to do all that, you know what I mean? I'm just passing right by you. It's like, dude, relax. I'm coming home from work, you know what I'm saying? But it's always gonna be a judgment thing. It brings a lot of death, sadness, hate, destructive, sick. Just sit in this jail cell for the rest of your life. Give up, bro. Like, you're not gonna come out of this alive, like you're done, you're shit. Just out of control, man. Right? There's no word to just, you know, that, 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 that made that movie is a savage. This is not a savage, this is a person that's been through a lot. I, mean, I was like, what do you mean I'm into deep? Like, fine, really? It's like, you can never be into deep to this. It's like, there's always a chance, and there's like, it's all to you if you want it. And I was like, man, this ain't my life. I love seeing my boy. My five-year-old boy, I love him to death, man. I'll do anything for him. I just don't want him to do nothing. He's already tripping out on my tattoos. He's saying, why do you have horns and stuff like that? And I fuck, like, it's hard to tell him, like, like I don't know to tell five-year-old, you know? But sometimes, sometimes I think in my head, like, maybe if I just don't be around him, and like, he won't be like me, you know? Like, he won't be nothing like me because he won't see me how I am. But then again, like, I want, he, come on, the kid wants their dad in their life. You know, nine years. I accomplished all this in a year and a half. Imagine in nine years what I could have done. Instead of rotting in the cell, I regret that shit. I regret getting tattoos. I regret it. Every, I regret everything. But now, nah, 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 I'm trying to be something. I don't want to be the same old person. No more. Uh, my name is Francisco Flores. Uh, I worked at Home Industries at one point. Now I don't. I moved on. I work in Hollywood. And I'm a electrician. I appreciate it, man. Like you, you put my story out there. You know what I mean. Because I couldn't go nowhere and just talk to somebody and have a story, but they look at me crazy. I just hope this thing explodes. <laughs> Everybody buys a book or whatever, you know, so you can read about it. It's good.